Hey, how's it going? My name is Dominic Scamaldo. I work as a prop maker slash welder in the television movie industry. Uh, this is my 05 Dyna FX DL. The main reason I got this bike was because I grew up riding older stuff. Like my first bike that I got from my dad is a 1959 Panhead. And I had ran into Lance and some of our other buddies at Neptune's Net. I was on my older bike try to race them to the canyons on the way home. My top nut ended up coming off my triple tree and kind of just beat my old bike up. So I ended up getting this 05, you know, two-tone paint with the chrome mags already set up. Pretty much bone stock when I got it with 4,000 miles on it. So been back and forth to Sturgis about six times on this bike and I got over 54,000 miles. I want a little more aggressive style bar and riser setup. So I got nine and a half pullbacks with uh, mid-bend thrashing bars, which has been comfortable for me on all my long trips. As far as comfort, I do put in a lot of miles on this bike. Saddleman was luckily to make me a seat since it's a uh, 05, 04, and 05 are kind of oddball years for the Dynas. So as far as my motor, uh, these bikes came stock with uh, 88 cubic inch motors built up to a 95 with high compression. My cam chest, I got uh, 543 cams from fueling parts with uh, their high flow race oil system. Pairs well with my thrashing two into one pipe. Bike rips, it's been back and forth to Sturgis about six times now, I believe. As far as suspension wise, I'm running the Legend 14 inch suspension with the uh, back reservoirs. As far as my front end, the bike came stock with just a regular single disc front end. Um, I ended up getting the FXDX front end, which is two inches over with the dual disc setup, which I like a lot better. So as far as foot controls and pegs, I have the thrashing P54s up front. I got the P54 slims in the back. I appreciate the grip on them. Never lose my footing. Ground clearance is pretty critical for me because some of our local canyons would like to rip around and get a little crazy at times. Over on my primary side over here, I have the adjustable shift linkage paired with the billet shifter tip and thrash and shifter arm. I also run the thrash and handlebar bag uh, normally locally around town. I don't run bags on my bike so this comes in handy for as far as let's see what I got in here. Some gum. If you know me I got hair products. Drag just to wipe some stuff down. Throw my sunglasses up here and then as far as the tool roll I mean I've used this thing countless amounts of times. Every Sturgis trip, we've had issues with somebody's bike. It's great just to have tools on hand. Nice little pouch in here for all my sockets and everything. Can't tell you how many times this has saved us on our long distance trips. Like I said, I ride this bike a lot, put a lot of miles on this bike, go state to state. I like to buy American made parts. That's what I put on my bike. They're trustworthy, independent, and I run the shit out of it. Thank you guys for checking out my 2005 FXDL.